So my PS Vita is on at 3.68 but the problem is I am running Hencore 2. Now I say problem, quite a lot of the time I will actually go to launch up Hencore 2 and it will completely crash. Here it is right here, it's probably about a 3 out of 5 chance that I will go ahead and open this and it will actually just crash and it's really annoying because my PS Vita will restart every time and it just means I have to power it back on and then do exactly the same thing again. So in this video I will be showing you guys how to replace Hencore 2 with the original Hencore which is a lot more stable and it has mods as well and the chances are it probably won't crash every time you try and load it up. So this will work on 3.65, 3.67 and 3.68. If you are above those firmwares you can downgrade if you want to. 3.65 is the best firmware out there because you can get Enso. But yeah I'm doing this on 3.68 and you guys can follow along with what I do. If you have Hencore already you must have it to follow this tutorial and you will have QCMA on your computer as well. So what you guys want to do first is actually go onto your computer and I will show you guys what we have to do from there. Quickly on your computer you want to go to the link in the description this will bring you to Auto Hencore version 0.4.4. Now this is the original Hencore this is not Hencore 2. Um, the reason why this is a lot better is because it doesn't have those bugs which make your PSV to crash or restart every time. So if you just go down to the assets section we actually want to get the zip file right here. So you just want to click on this link Auto Hencore and it's actually going to download very quick. So once we've got this file you want to go into your downloads folder and you You'll be able to find it. So we're going to right click this with Rinra and we're going to um, click on extract to auto Hencore and this is basically going to put it into a folder for us. Now you can double click on this folder and just find the files in there. So next we need to start up QCMA. You must have your PS Vita connected via QCMA for this to work. So just go ahead and find it. You can click on the search icon. You can go ahead and start it up. I have already got mine running. If I click on the drop down arrow right here you can see I've got it. You should know what this is if you've hacked your PS Vita before you can just go ahead and open up settings make sure your um, advanced settings are the same layout as mine make sure it's all of the kind of same settings as this and then you can just click on OK Right guys, so now it's time to connect our PS Vita to our PC. So what you guys want to do is just have it like this. You want to scroll up and you want to go ahead and tap on Content Manager. You then want to get your USB cable and you can actually just go and plug this in. Now it's going to come up saying connecting. You want to tap on Copy Content quickly and we can actually connect it to our computer. If you did everything right for QCMA, it will look exactly like this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to double click on autohencore.exe. Now select our language, obviously mine is English, so I'm just going to click on OK. Now this one is a very important option because what it does is it trims the app from 240 megabytes to only 13 megabytes, so that is perfect. Um, so what you want to do is just click on start, you don't exactly have to tick this one, just make sure you have followed all of this, which you should have. QCMA is installed, you've connected it via USB and our PS Vita of course is connected, so we're simply just going to click on start. So what it's going to do is it's going to download it, it's going to package it and it's going to download the Bittersmile demo as well. It basically does everything for us super quick. There is a new version of this for Hencore 2 but obviously I want to get the original version because Hencore 2 on my 3.68 PS Vita is just very annoying because it crashes all the time for me. I know it's bad luck to have it crash but I guess I, guess I just always get bad luck. So now it's going to say how do you plan to connect your PS Vita to transfer Hencore? Obviously we're using USB, so we are going to collect we are going to click on USB right here. Now just click on next. So it says connect your PS Vita now. Obviously mine is already connected. If you guys follow um, what I did, it should be connected like this. Okay, so now it's going to do its thing and it's going to start unpacking. You just have to wait for this. And um, basically when this whole process is done, so you're just waiting for this green bar right here. When this green bar is done, um, we will actually be able to transfer the app across. And there you go guys, it says to finish your Hencore installation, you must connect it to your PC. So make sure it is connected now and then we're just going to go ahead and just click um just click on OK right now and there you go, now it's done. So let's go onto our PS Vita and let's try and copy it across. So now guys what we're going to do is we're going to tap on PC to PS Vita. We're going to tap on applications right here. An error has occurred and that's always good. 
And now on this section, what we actually want to choose is we want to choose um, PS Vita at the top. And there you go. We have got our original Hencor at only 13 megabytes. So we're just going to tap on the tick right here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to click on copy. We're going to click on OK, and it should actually copy across. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to bring out Hencor 2. What we actually want to tick is overwrite. Now, don't worry, it's not going to break your um, custom firmware or anything like that. It's basically going to overwrite Hencor 2 to the original version, and um, you will have like less crashes and stuff like that. Um, you can also reverse this if you guys want to get Hencore 2 back. I don't know why you would, but you can go ahead and do that as well. So yeah, that is how you get the original Hencore over Hencore 2. Pretty cool. Let's just wait. Four minutes left, more like four seconds. So let's just go ahead and wait for this to install. It shouldn't really take too long. And when it's done, we're going to load up Hencore and we're actually going to see what happens. So 10 seconds left. Let's just wait. And then when it's done, it's just going to close down like this. You can click on cancel, you can click on back, you can click on back again, back one more time, and then we can actually press the PS button and we can close out of this one. Now you can disconnect it and we can go ahead and test it out. So there you go, as you can see it's replaced it. Does it work? Does it crash? Let's find out. Press X to go and start, press X for yes. Just wait, it's going to do that like multicolor thing. Start up press exit and there you go that is how you reverse back to the original Hencore in my opinion a lot better um, obviously let me prove it works so I just load up something Vita Shell let's go and load up Vita Shell why not and that is it so that is it for this video that is how you reverse back to the original Hencore a lot better than Hencore 2 just because it doesn't crash if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe for more PS Vita content thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one